Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Akashic Affirmations, guys. I hope everything's going well. Your New Year's off oh, to a good start. This is going to be a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see. One just fell out. A high priestess. Oh, your intuition is telling you something at this time when it comes to a uh, twin flame union. I think you want the ultimate happiness. I think that you want uh, your ambitions filled. Uh, things you've been struggling to achieve with this person. I really do think that it's time that you want uh, to kickstart the endeavors. Let's see what's up, my Aries. Okay. So these stuck to my hand. I'm taking them. But either way, let's see. Uh, Archangel Chamuel is coming in. Sorry about the nails, guys. Got to coat nails on. Uh, telling you um, there's some problems that have been seen in the past that uh, it's time for you to uh, take a stand if you want equal give and take, okay, in this relationship. Um, it has become a problem to you um, not having the relationship on a deeper level. Um, Moving away and closing this cycle out to you is um, you, you wanting to, to look at this situation as if I do close this out, I know that I am whole. I know that I am renewed, they're telling me. Uh, and I'm going to feel that there's something on my part that I did not do. And, or, you know, and I don't, Spirit's here to tell you that it's time for you to do some reflecting on, right, Four Swords, on your peace and tranquility. You are putting yourself in a position that you do not. You don't qualify to put yourself in that position. You have brought yourself to a level. And you understand this about yourself. But there's still some underlying question. And it has to do with the way people treated you previously that you let happen. You have reached that point where you're done. You have completely uh, shown yourself in a new light. You are the empress. You are now in empress mode. And you making, you don't want to make yourself feel that it's on you, okay? The reason why things didn't go well is because of something you did. It's normally not when you are the aggressor, okay? You are not going to allow yourself to see that you have achieved master love coming from the strength that you hold within you. Um, you couldn't have gotten to where you are 
by neglecting things. You have healed the love that you hold for yourself. And you're not going to accept anything, anything less than wholeness. That's what spirit's saying. Wholeness is completeness. I want to act as your aggressor and tell you it's almost like a stern father me telling you this. No little girl, you're not going to treat yourself this way. I taught you better than this. That's what you need to tell yourself right now. You have gotten yourself to the point of achievement and acknowledgement and verification and certification. Why take steps back and question yourself? When God gives us someone, he gives them to us freely. Oh. You need passion. You need constant movement when it comes to communication skills with the partner you're involved with. And that, that comes with a deep passion for someone. That they want to be there. And evidently, you're not seeing that the communication that you are striving for this person to come through for you is not coming because they're stuck in their own war. This whole thing wants to be upside down. Yeah. You need to construct a new love that will is willing to work hard on your relationship. They want they want the, you know it takes two to tango but two to get tangled. How does that go? Two, 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 it takes two to, to tango, but also two to tangle. You, in other words, you, you, you know what I mean? You're woven. You got to work on the weaving. If, if, you know what I mean? It's like a rubber band. Um, it can be stretched. Your love can be stretched. But all of a sudden, it's like, oh, we got to come back together because... That's where our heart, that's where our love is, that's where our home is, is with that person. And if you don't have the work being done on the relationship, okay, the constant movement that involves communication, then it puts a damper on your, uh, your taking, you, you and that person taking that next step to be interwoven. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You know, because like a rubber band stretches, right? And y'all can go here, you can go across the world. But you always come back home. To each other. And you need to structure love differently. Okay? Just don't think that a person who is willing to give you, watch, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lift it up. You see structure. In, that person needs, you see that snake? If That's the ace of wands. Okay. If that snake isn't given to you 
in a respectable manner. And not like the Knight of Wands. I come in quickly, I go out quickly. If a person's not willing to take a new, fresh start with you and work on a relationship and just wants passion, you got to, f to be able to build with someone to be proud of them, okay? And if y'all don't have the relationship and them seeing that you're doing a good job and you seeing that they're doing a good job, there's really no entanglement. That's what I'm trying to say. So make the logical choice because something unexpected is coming. Oh, the spirit's like, bah. guess what? Something unexpected is coming. Somebody's going to want to build. And then you're going to have that decision to make. When you see all the goodness in that new person and you're still stuck with that person that doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to take the next step with you, you're going to be like, whoa, what did I just miss out on? Man, you can think about that two weeks later. Man, boy, what? I wonder. And here I am sitting there looking at the last one, like shaking my head going, I don't even know. I ain't talked to him for two days. I don't even know where he's at. Or she. I want to see this bottom of this deck. Oh, look. And it's just sitting on the table when I picked it up. Three of Wands. Are you like, what are you waiting on? This is just... You set your two, you see, you set your path. Okay, which two wands? And you're like waiting for that other person. Dreaming of them. So all you do is get a dream. What could happen one day? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next year. Let's see, how old would that baby be? No, I don't see that. Or what are they entangled with? Because it ain't me. Dreaming of change. That's what you're going to be struck with. Yep. Dreaming of the new passionate action. And just, you know, the new course of action, the path. I told you that wand, you're waiting on that wand. And there it is. Just dreaming about how long is that river, you know what I mean, going to take? Is it going to be dried up before it gets here? We all get old. And you know women are. Alright, so... Let's see. So nobody's coming through, huh? And it is, it is there. Let's see. It does take a minute to see. So if it does go off, you know it ain't. I think if we want to join the Aquarius reading, as soon as I want to start, but I did tell it. I'm like, you know, because that was the first time. I'm like, well. Spirit, if you want to come in, it's when I put lots of makeup on and turn the camera on. If you'd like to come in, just acknowledge these people that this is real. Feel free to. It never said anything again. <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just leave it there. You know when it comes on? Early in the morning. You know, it's almost like um, it tells me good morning. I like, I'll go to, you know what I mean? You go to the bathroom, blah, 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 get something to drink, whatever. And you come in, you go, okay, well, I'm going to turn the TV on or whatever. And you walk by, and the cat ball comes on. Well, hey, <laughs> good morning. 
All right, what did they have to tell you? Oh, I can't read these little words. Hang on. Okay, so they want to say you need to be cheerful, dependable. Um, it's time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. Page of Swords, Archangel Jamuel. Wow. No, I'm sorry. That's Page of uh, Pentacles. Let me see who that is. Page of Pentacles. This is Azrael. A Z R A E L. So they might come come in to tell you something. Um, this bunny is sticking out to me. This rabbit. Did you get a new rabbit for Christmas? Let's see. Aries, loving, compassionate, psychic self, sacrificing, deep psychic insights, taking. Um, I'm sorry, caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition, a deep love, a family and friends, follow your heart. We have the page, we have the queen, and then we have the key. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, Hidden but well intended, intended emotions. A char charitable benefactor seeing a counselor. You might want to make the choice to do that. Because it's, an, it's a new tangible uh, something that you have to actually give to. You know? And how do you, you know, you give to another relationship? It's very hard. Let your family get you through it. Because you have trustworthy and honorable people. Okay, around you. Um, this could be a teacher. A guidance counselor. To make you feel loved and emotionally, you know, someone like me, someone who does their studies, someone that is of wise counsel and someone trustworthy. You might have to go see a tower reader or take a new endeavor and love yourself. So you can be the honorable and devoted, cautious, someone you completely trust in. Let's see, bottom of the deck. Victory. Hmm. Victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and or scholarships. That's the second time it said book studies. It says scholarship and scholarship. Follow your heart. See a counselor. Uh, you may be going to enroll in school. Maybe that's where you meet this new person. Let me see, underneath the six. The Emperor, take time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects that will be very successful, abundance, and prosperity. You might need to, uh, to go take a, a semester in school. Whatever floats your boat. Just look and, and sit in a car. And, you know, if you have no intention, sit in a car and say, Okay, God, okay, angels. Time for me to make this decision. You got me here. You evidently want me to follow these instructions. When I sit in front of that uh, that inventory of or you know of all the studies and all the classes, just highlight the one in my head and draw my eyes to it. 
make sure that I see it, right? Stick it out in my head to me. Go take the course. It might not even be two classes and you find the love of your life and get a good education. What? All right, guys. What am I into? 20 minutes. Let's see. Uh, what other guidance do they want to tell you? Let's see. Let's get your room card. Now, I just cleaned these earlier. I live in the middle of the city. Yeah, we got some teenagers around. All right. I'm not put these glasses back on. Sorry. All right. Oh, I know. Family, friendship, charitable deeds, a greater good, the self, transcendence communion this is man this is standing in your power and receiving everything that is meant for you and that's exactly you know man is see men is man, oh, no, man is <laughs> I always trip out I'm sorry I'm from Louisiana it's funny but anyway this is you being standing in your power when family and friendship see char charitable deeds, the greater good. When you see the greater good in everything around you, you make the universe see that you are deserving and, okay, let me say it, deserving with gratitude. And it's going to speed your journey. Carry this card. This is Ryder. Carry this card to speed your journey. Ease the transition. Aid communication. Bring good news. And find your spiritual way. So if you have runes, take the one that says R. Okay. And put it in your pocket. Okay, but I will pick you, let's see, what else, Aries, oh, I see money, and man, a man with money, and he's going to have the key to your heart, the key to your heart's going to be the money. <laughs> I can't help it. That was funny. I know you didn't see the man. He might even have a sailboat, yo. <laughs> you are the luckiest MF around. That's what they hear to say. You gonna cut off anybody that will tackle your tower. You can you you're going to cut this tower off. Anything that did not serve you, holy moly, you're going to cut them off. Oh, you're going to give this person the mess that you love. Oh, no. And you're... To me, this is whipped. You're going to tell this person, I just received the love of my life. I'm cutting you off. Oh, wow, he's going to make his tower fall. And I'm telling you right now, this person, the love that they have is going to whip you up. Whip you in shape. I ain't, I ain't even going forward because, uh, like I said, go enroll yourself in school. Go, go, go get some counseling. That person is out there waiting for you. I don't know who it is. Oh my God! They just put two head, two names in my head: Jeremy, Jacob, Jerome, Jeremy, Jer something like that. Jerry, Jer 
go find them. Love y'all. Peace out.